I'm going to find the Taylor series for the function f of x equals 1 over x squared centered at x equals 4. And also find uh, its interval of convergence. And so we set up a table here to help us uh, kind of brute force find the Taylor series expansion about x equals 4. And we're going to start off with um, n equals 0. The 0 derivative is just a function. Um, 1 over x squared. The first derivative of that is negative 2 over x cubed. Uh, the next derivative it would be positive 6 over x to the fourth. I'm thinking about each of these guys as um, x to the negative exponent and mentally taking the derivative. Next we'd have a negative 24 over x to the fifth. Finally, a positive 120 over x to the sixth. And the pattern will continue. We need to evaluate each one of these at 4, but instead of simplifying, we'll leave it as 4, replacing the x, and keep the exponent. So 1 over 4 squared, negative 2 over 4 cubed, positive 6 over 4 to the 4, negative 24 over 4 to the 5th, and positive 120 over 4 to the 6th. And we will continue. Next we divide by n factorial. And in the first case that's 0 factorial, that's 1. So we divide by 1. We'll leave it as it is. 1 factorial is also 1. Leave that guy as it is. And now we divide by 2 factorial. We have 6 over 4 to the 4. And there's also a 2 factorial down there, leaving you with 3 over 4 to the 4. Because the 6 is uh, 3 times 2 times 1, and get the cancellation. If we have a negative 24 over 4 to the 5th, and we need to divide that by 3 factorial, then 3 factorial being 6 would turn that into a negative 4 over 4 to the 5th. 120 divided by 4 to the 6th, and a 4 factorial leaves you with a positive 5 over 4 to the 6th. And so, we then have our coefficients. But these aren't coefficients on x to the n. Since we're centered at x equals uh, four, a equals 4, we're centered at 4, these are coefficients on x minus 4 to the n. So the function is 1 over 4 squared is our constant term, negative 2 over 4 cubed is our x minus 4 term, positive 3 over 4 to the 4 is our x minus 4 squared term, negative 4 over 4 to the 5th And the reason why we don't simplify, we want to find the pattern, uh, is our cube term. We have a fourth degree term, 5 over 4 to the 6th. And the pattern will continue. All right, great. This is when n is 0. 
This is when n is 1. This is when n is 2. This is when n is 3. This is when n is 4. What's the pattern? Well, the power on 4 is n plus 2. The number, uh, we have an alternating sign starting with positive, so we'll say negative 1 to the n. Um, we're going to have x minus 4 to the n. And then lastly, we have the constant that's in the numerator. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is what we see here. And it looks like it's just 1 plus n, so we'll call it n plus 1. And this summation then starts at 0 and goes to infinity. That's our f of x. That's the Taylor series. That's our answer, the Taylor series for f of x. This will be, this will be equal to 1 over x squared uh, centered at x equals 4, but not valid for all values of x. And so for what values of x is it valid for, that's us finding the interval of convergence. Go back to that section and find the interval of convergence by taking the limit as n goes to infinity a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n in absolute value. Recognizing the number of terms you have, 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. We have negative 1 to the n plus 1, n plus 2, um, uh, x minus 4 to the n plus 1, and then the denominator of 4 to the n plus 1 plus 2. Okay, and then in the denominators we'll have, or in the opposite sides, we'll have the associated n term, negative 1 to the n, n plus 1, x minus 4 to the n, and 4 to the n plus 2. Great. We have the limit as n goes to infinity. We'll take negative 1 to the n plus 1 and peel off the negative 1. Um, and we'll have uh, n plus 2 over n plus 1. We'll have x minus 4 to the n times x minus 4. And then finally, uh, we'll have... Um, 4 to the n plus 2, and then 4 to the n plus 2 times a 4. That'll give us 4 to the n plus 3. That's up there. Okay, good. Cancellation. Well, negative 1 to the n's cancel. x minus 4 to the n's cancel. 4 to the n plus 2's cancel. Leaving you with, uh, well, n plus 1 over n, n plus 2 over n plus 1 converges to 1. So we have um, negative 1 times the quantity x minus 4 all over 4 in absolute value. We need that to be less than 1. That's going to occur if 1 4 times x minus 4 in absolute value is uh, less than 4. And so that means that, I'm sorry, less than 1. And that means that absolute value of x minus 4 has to be less than 4. It's only valid for those x's. And we need to check the endpoints. Uh, you can do that, and you'll see that um, both endpoints, uh, 8 and 0, would diverge. And so absolute value of x minus